Oh, hey, Jen. Hey, I brought your uh, illegal cable box for you. Since I'll be going away, you can go ahead and watch your porn. Sweet. So, Jenny, where are you going? I'm going to Philadelphia for a veterinary conference. I'm going to learn how to give dogs CPR. Hey, Jenny, I remember every time you have your mouth in one of those sexy Rottweilers, that'd be thinking of me. I'm going to miss you so uh, much. I'm going to miss you more. No, I'm going to miss you more. <laughs> You're probably right. You're probably right. <laughs> Hey, Judy, uh, we have to close these doors, and if any reporters come by, don't let them in. Who's that kid? Oh, my God, that's the Cuban orphan who stowed away in the wheel well of an airplane. I just saw him on the news. Everyone, uh, this is Hector Martinez, and uh, like that uh, Elian boy, unfortunately, he's in the middle of a very sensitive political situation. So I, I'm going to need somebody to take charge of him until our government decides what they want to do next. Uh, well, I think I'm the most qualified, sir, uh, considering my uh, Hispanic heritage, you know, Benny Sanchez. Oh. <laughs> I forgot. Um, uh, Danny, could you, please, could you ask him, please, uh, if there's anything we can get for him? Is there anything we can get for you? <laughs> I could have done that. I, I thought it was odd that you didn't. Well, <laughs> if, you, if you don't speak Spanish, then the boy's going to Lori. Lori Lori's our senior social worker here. Yeah, but I, I'm not sure that I'm the right person. Oh, of course you are, Lori. Uh, listen, because of the media circus that's probably going to surround the kid, I, 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 I think it would probably be best for little Hector if you took him home with you. Oh, see, the thing is, sir, I'm really good with kids around the office, but my place isn't really set up for kids. Yes. Well, just uh, put away your sex toys and uh, uh, kick out whatever roadie's currently shacking up with you and get ready to be mommy. Well, I just I have so much work on my desk. It's all right. We'll get somebody to do it for you. The boy's a priority. Uh, whoever's taking care of him is not even going to have to come into work. <laughs> oh, hey, Lori, can I have a word with you? Listen, uh, I know you're, uh, you're gonna take care of the boy there, and I think you should have, like, a man's influence, you know, to teach him how to throw a curveball, how to wrestle, you know, how to, you know, unhook a bra with a broken thumb. That kind of... You're just trying to get off work, aren't you? But since I do need help understanding an eight-year-old mind, why don't I go to a man who owns one? Excellent, let's get out of here. Well, let me just see if he's hungry or something. Hector, do you speak English? Yes, but I speak it much faster than you. <laughs> well, Lori, you've exposed your prejudice. Just because he's foreign, you take him for uneducated. I make no such presumptions. Hector, it is nice to meet you, sir. And uh, just so I don't embarrass myself, what is the Mexican word for Cuba, exactly? Too bad that you're not as smart as you thought you were in the first place. Too bad that you're I'll get it, wiener dog. God forbid you should get up. Hello. Hey, hey there, Hector. Hey, hey, got your nose. <laughs> Don't be alarmed, it's just my thumb. Right. Isn't he funny, Hector? Why don't you go sit on the couch right there? Because I don't want to talk to Norm just for a second. Hey, how's it going with Hector? It's really amazing. You know, I was all worried about having him, but it turns out I'm really good with kids. <laughs> Lori, can I have another chocolate bar? Uh, did you finish both the ones I gave you in the car? Yes. All right, then. There you go. <laughs> Three chocolate bars. Lori, yeah. you're spoiling that kid. No, I'm not. He knows if he does something wrong, there'll be consequences. He just hasn't done anything wrong. Hector, what did we say about playing ball in the apartment? Sit down when I get tired. That's right. I think somebody deserves a sucker for that. <laughs> oh, hey, Art. Hey, guys. Oh, hi. <laughs> so how'd it go last night? The kid's oh, still alive or yeah. what? Norm, you didn't tell me Artie was coming over. I don't want Artie around Hector. Hey, I happen to be great with kids. Yo, Hector, hey, look what I brought you. <clears throat> oh, well, now it's a Snickers wrapper. <laughs> 
but hey, look, you almost won a car. <laughs> I'll be back in time for dinner. Now, I want you to call me immediately if you end up at a restaurant where the waitresses aren't wearing shirts. <laughs> and you're sure he's gonna be all right? Laura, he traveled 3,000 miles hanging out of landing gear. He'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Well, this is it. It's a Wednesday, we have the whole day off. Is this great or what? <laughs> it's like when we dropped out of high school that time. <laughs> so what are we gonna do with the kids? Well, we're not gonna do anything with the kid. We're just gonna let him watch TV, you know? It'll be only a couple of hours. Come on. We can't just leave him here. Look, the kid's got a TV. He's got a fridge full of food. He's got a working bathroom. Hey, if he was still in Cuba, he'd be featured on that TV program, Run Away with the Rich and Famous. <laughs> hey, so long, kid, all right? See you later, man. Goodbye, guys. Hope you have fun. Oh, geez, look at him there with his eyes. Yeah, it's the same look we used to give our dad when he... Go out trolling for hookers, remember? <laughs> uh, hey, uh, listen, Hector. Uh, hey, we and Artie don't have to go out by ourselves. Why don't you come with us, huh? We can all go out together. Uh, what do you want to do? Anything you want to do? Well, I would like to go to the circus, and maybe after that, ride the go-karts. And if you have a park, I would like to go there and shoot at the pigeons with a BB gun. <laughs> That's amazing. That's exactly what we were going to do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so here the show is called Gomer Pyle. Yeah. In Cuba, it's called America's Finest Soldier. Hey, how is that hide and seek? <laughs> you guys just took a cab home. Found you. <laughs> Uh, I better go talk to Artie. But, hey, you'll love this next show. I think in your country it's known as uh, I Love Ricky. <laughs> hey, Artie, listen, man, I'm sorry about that in there, uh, but, uh, you know, I'm having a good time with Hector, and he's having a good time with me, so... I can't believe you guys ditched me in Central Park. You did the same thing when we were kids. You'd always take off and leave me way behind. Yeah, well, I didn't call that ditching. I called that running. <laughs> How are my guys? Oh, hello, Artie. So, Hector, you go get your coat. I'm gonna take you to FAO Schwartz and you can pick out one toy at a time. And I don't want any trouble from you when I tell you it's time to leave and go buy a puppy. Oh, look, at that. look it's that damn tabloid again. Well, what do they want? World Examiner. They're offering $40,000 if I sell an exclusive story about my days with Hector. Can you believe that? $40,000? Yeah, just to hear how it's all affecting an eight-year-old boy. Is that ghoulish or what? $40,000? <laughs> all right, let's go. I need you in bed by 8 o'clock tonight. Or whatever you feel like. It's really up to you. <laughs> all right, before we decide whether or not to call the tabloid, we have to make sure it's the right thing to do, you know? So, so let's think. Is there any reason that we should not phone that tabloid? <laughs> uh, I got nothing. I don't even understand the question. All right. Hey, Laurie, you got, got quite an elaborate setup here. You know, you don't have to work so hard to get the kid to like you. Well, maybe you don't, but I do, because they just don't like me very much. Sure they do. No, they don't. They say I smell like medicine. That's what you smell like. Uh, Lori, are we yeah. going to start now? Yeah, we're going to start now. Come on, kids, let's go. Come on, Hector, you, you know all the boys from the Youth Intervention Program. OK, the game we're going to play today is called Cyber Soak Laser Fight. The thing you got to know about the gun is you're going to want to pull this little thing here called a trigger. <laughs> I think they get the idea. So, everybody, run, go hide. We're going to start the game. Yeah! Yeah! Danny? Hey, mm -hmm. Danny, turn around, Danny. You have nothing to fear from me. Oh! Gotcha. Yes, you did. Uh, you're quite the warrior, sir. Uh, I finally found something I'm good at. I've got seven confirmed kills. There's not a man here who's a match for me. I hate 
<laughs> my son. Laurie, 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 we need a we need a referee. One of the red team just pistol whipped one of the blue team. We're not sure how to score it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hey, Hector, what's the matter, man? Why aren't you playing with the other kids? I've been killed three times. These boys are very good. I mostly stink. Ah, uh, come on. Don't be so hard on yourself there, buddy, you know? Uh, listen, you stowed away on a flight from Cuba. You know, you're the coolest kid of all, except for Mike. He uh, stole a car and drove it to Texas. <laughs> I'm just not good at sports and things. Uh, hey, let me tell you something. Some of the greatest players ever to perform sports weren't good because of their talent. They were good because of their determination. I'll show you what I mean. Hey, kids, come on over here, huh? I got a game for you guys. Come on over. Listen, everybody put your gun on the table. All right, that's it. Now, everybody put your hands in your pockets. All right. Hector, shoot them, Hector, shoot them, shoot them! Yes. We have a winner! Okay, everybody, time for cake! Thanks, Norm. You bet. I need to see you right here, right now. Oh, no, I gotta get cake. Right there. <laughs> Did you really think that you could hide this from me? Uh, uh, yeah, I kinda, I kinda mm -hmm. did. Yeah. Well, you can't. <laughs> because you're really great with kids, and now everybody knows it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, the way I look at it, you know, the way to treat kids is to treat them with respect. I think of them as uh, tiny adults who are stupid. <laughs> Great news, I got the examiner up to 50 grand. They want us to fly down to Florida for a photo shoot at Disney World. Disney World? Uh, hey, Hector, come here, buddy. Listen, uh, uh, you've been such a good kid that Artie and I are gonna take you to Disney World. I have not been so good. Ah, uh, what are you talking about? I don't wanna lie anymore. I'm not really an orphan. I made up the whole story. What? My parents think I'm in baseball camp, but I ran away. You ran away and no one knows you're missing? No. I'm not supposed to be home for three more days. We're still okay. No one's got to know the kid's parents are alive till after the story comes out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, listen, Hector, just, just stick to your original story. You know, just, just say what you've been saying all along. I'm confused, Norm. My mother told me it hurts God's heart when you lie. But you think it's okay for me to lie more? <laughs> yeah, it's Yeah, fine. sure. <laughs> was bowling. Uh -huh. It was fun, and Norm got a new pair of shoes. Huh? <laughs> no, no, no. You stole the shoes. I didn't steal them. I paid a buck and a half for this. <laughs> well, I made supper, and it's somebody's favorite. Oh, erotic birthday cake. Excellent. I made spaghetti. Thank you, Lori. Yes, sure. And since we're going to sit down to dinner, why don't we have some dinner conversation? Oh, hey, that's a good idea. You know, when I was a kid, we always had dinner conversation, you know. <laughs> We'd all take a turn going around the table and telling how hard our day was. Then at the end, my dad would always pull off his leg, put it on the table, and go, beat that! <laughs> <laughs> well, Norm's done. Uh, so, Hector, are there any questions that you've wanted to ask anybody since you've been in the country? Well, there is one thing I've been wondering about. Mm -hmm. What's that? Where do babies come from? <laughs> well, Hector, that's a very good question. Um, when a man and a woman love each other, they... Oh! <laughs> gotta be able to talk to kids in their own language there, Laurie. Uh, let me explain it to you this way, Hector. Uh, you see, uh, a man has what's called a, uh, a bunny rabbit. And uh, a woman has a cabbage patch. Now, in order to get uh, a baby, the bunny rabbit has to hop into the cabbage patch. Now, sometimes, you know, through no fault of the bunny rabbit, maybe too much to drink, stress, whatever, you know. <laughs> Who knows, you know, maybe, uh, maybe he's heard about a, a bigger bunny rabbit that was in the Cabbage Patch earlier, whatever it is. <laughs> the point of it is this. Oftentimes, the bunny rabbit has to look at explicit photographs before he can even go near the Cabbage Norm, Patch. Norm, Norm. <laughs> I've had 
sex and you've confused me. Now, there, there is a, a book that we use to explain this kind of thing to kids, and I think I have a copy in my bag. Uh, yeah, Hector, actually, the book is pretty helpful, you know, but uh, it's easier to learn from life than it is a book, you know? It's also easier to learn from videos than a book. Well, I've been thinking about what you said about that magical land of Florida and how you can get there by lying. And I thought, since we're lying anyway, maybe I can say I have cancer. What? Those kids get everything. We just shave my head and now I won't have to wait those long lines for the rides. Oh, no, no, no. No, Hector, you're going the whole wrong direction. All right, this is it. Oh. What's this? Oh, that, that's, uh... <laughs> that's nothing. <laughs> that, that's, a uh, uh, lady candy. <laughs> Listen, Lori, uh, Hector has something to tell you. Uh, Hector, t t tell Lori about your mother. She's dead and I have cancer. <laughs> no, 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 Hector, the truth. My mother's alive in Cuba. I just wanted to see America. I did not think it would be so bad to lie. Hector, why would you do something like that? Ah, uh, come on now. We just needed a little vacation, you know, from the... Uh, than the godless communists. You know, it's... The... <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to call Mr. Denby right away, and we, we have got to get you home. Norm, why did you do this? Uh, listen, Hector, you know, uh, what I told you about lying was, uh, wasn't right. Kids should never lie, you know? You gotta wait till you're an adult so, so you can do it responsibly. <laughs> this is all very confusing. Well, there's a lot of confusing things in this life, Hector. You know, a lot of questions, like, uh, like what happens if the cabbage patch is your cousin, you know? <laughs> oh, Hector, that's a beautiful picture of a dog you've drawn. Thank you. Mine's much better. He's oh, drawing outside yes. the line. I'm sure yours is very good, too. What is it, some sort of a pack mule? <laughs> oh, no, that's you. <laughs> Hi. Oh, hi. I'm from the INS. I'm here for Hector Martinez. Oh, you're early. Well, um, could you give us just one second, please? Sure. Hector, sweetie, it's almost time for you to go now. I just wanted to show you. I, I picked up something on my way to give you to remind you of me, and uh, I put some candy in there for you. Oh. <laughs> I better take some of that out, huh? Oh. You know, Lori, I would still like you even if you didn't give me so much stuff. Oh, Hector. You know, when you're older, there are going to be women who give too much. <laughs> <laughs> Treat them well. <laughs> Don't excuse yourself from the table and go to a payphone and page yourself and pretend that you have to leave. <laughs> Hey, uh, listen, Hector, uh, I want you to have this uh, three-horned dinosaur from my desk. You don't want to give this up, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways, listen, uh, Hector, uh, I I'm going to come, and I'm going to visit you in Cuba one day, all right? So you, you look for me, buddy. You're on the big island, aren't you? Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, Hector. Be safe now, okay? Bye. Oh, Norm, I... I think I can understand why parents say that raising a kid is just so fulfilling because all the joys outweigh all of the difficulties. Yeah, yeah but, uh, you know, that's because we had a, a skinny child. Imagine if we had a big, fat one, we wouldn't have liked no, him. No, I'm, no, I'm serious. You're really good with kids. Oh, well, you are, too, Laura. You are, too. Well, I don't know if you've ever thought of this, you know, but you'd be a great mother. Oh, I don't know. I <laughs> know, it's true. <laughs> but you better hurry up, you know, before your uterus puts out the old gone fishing sign. <laughs>since you taught me to be honest, I wanted to return it. Oh, Love, Hector. You should be proud, Norm. You've helped Hector become a better person. Oh, that's great. 
I was wondering why he was under that couch for so long. 